The Legend of Jimmy Spoon by Christiana Gregory, Chapter 13, Squaw Boy. Spring soon warmed the hills. The river flowed with ice as chunks broke away from shore. Jimmy thought about his family. His baby Lucy survived her first winter. For once, he wished he could hear his sisters argue. I wish there was a way to tell Mother I am all right. Remembering her, he looked at Old Mother. She was like an eagle with a wing spread over her chick. Jimmy hurried to gather wood for her, then down to the river for water. Every day he would help her, he decided. Enough for two mothers. Then, maybe, he wouldn't miss his own so much. The other boys teased him. Squaw boy, they called. You are doing squaw's work. They're making me mad, Jimmy told old mother. Leave them, Dawi. They are bad boys. But one morning, Jimmy had cut more wood than he could carry at one time. When he returned for the second load, Poog stepped out from behind a tree. He spat on Jimmy's feet. Squaw, he hissed. Then he spat in Jimmy's face. Jimmy dropped the wood, pulled his axe from his belt, and chased after him. Washaki saw the boys. Dawi! Jimmy stopped. Poog fled to the safety of his lodge. What is this about? Jimmy told him, trying not to cry in frustration. I do not want you to start another camp brawl, but I do want you to defend yourself, Washaki said. My young warriors will never leave you alone if they think you are a coward. However, they respect one who can walk away from trouble. Without wood, the fire goes out. Jimmy looked up at Washaki's face and relaxed when he saw the kindness in his eyes. I have been watching, the chief said. I am pleased to see that you are not starting these fights. I believe you are a peaceful one if left alone. Dawi, you have protected our mother, he said, referring to the brawl over the fishing pole. He placed his hands on Jimmy's shoulders. I am proud we are brothers. One evening, after things had quieted down with Poog, Jimmy sat inside the large teepee playing with Odo, who was crawling around on the soft furs. Washaki stood outside watching stars. Jimmy heard footsteps crunch in the snow. Then a man complained to the chief. This white boy is showing Indian boys bad things. He should not be doing women's work. He is trying to change our ways. You should not let him, Washaki. The chief laughed. Dawi wants to please our mother. It does not hurt for us to help each other. Since Dawi came, she has seen many good moons. He is mu so much comfort to her now that I know if he hadn't come to us, grief would have killed her. Jimmy listened. What he heard next made him ache for old mother. It filled him with despair because it suddenly occurred to him that his own mother might be grieving as well. And that's the end of chapter 13.